Hi. Today we are gonna make my first game to learn Godot. I chose Godot because it's simpler than other game engines and it opens quickly not like others. Now I must say, I like TF2 so much. I inspired this game from a flash game called Territory War. We were playing it in IT lesson in the school and we were having fun with boys. And it wasn't looking hard to do. Then I wanted to make this game. But with TF2 characters. And this is how this idea came out. But all players are just squares. But I must say that I was at learning statement, so I didn't finish the project, and it is not done 100%. I just recorded entire progress and I wanted to get rid of this 97 GB of video. I drew some of weapons before starting the project. I also drew some characters, but I lost them and just spy and soldier left, so I had to draw characters as well. So let's get started by drawing Scout first. I think I'll take Sasha out for a steak dinner tonight. What do you think about that? Firstly in order to draw each class same, I made a color palette. Then I started by drawing Scout's hair. When you draw hair first, it's easy to fill rest of the canvas. I cared about shadows too much. In order to make the sprite more realistic I also used dark and light version of the color and I get references from original model for some parts. Then I drew his headphones and I think it looks good and his eyes. His eyes looks weird, but other characters have better eyes. I didn't plan to add mouth to characters, but for scouts running animation I added laughing mouth to scout. Before starting to project I set the window settings. In Godot, there are three bodies which called static, kinematic and rigid bodies. Static bodies never move, kinematic bodies needs a script to move. And rigid bodies use Godot's physics, so you can set the physics on inspector. In order to create shitty map I added useless Godot icon inside static body node, and made it black then I created my ground to test classes. Now let's see how scout will be. Scout will only have a bat, has three kind of attack. These are. Hitting. Shooting. And home run. Has double jump and he can run almost everywhere. <coughs> After some codes, I made scouts movement and gravity stuffs. And I did this for each classes. I wish I had known about inheritances. And I added bonk sound Boink. when he tries to hit. Bonk. And lastly he can throw a ball. I also did that homer and taunt. But I realized I didn't record it. Let's move on next. If God had wanted you to live he would not have created me. At first I didn't plan. To add market gardener to the game, so I drew a nice shovel. Soldier. Has market gardener and rocket launcher. Has two rockets. Has low mobility. And of course he can rocket jump. Can only use market gardener when you jumped enough. If you jumped enough, you can't use your other rocket when you're rocket jumping. <laughs> After creating rocket launcher I added rocket sound and knockback. But there was a problem. My rockets weren't going properly. I think I missed something. After learning math I dealt with explosion effect and rocket jump. The rocket jumping you're seeing now was just a stupid rocket jump. Believe or not there was a problem about explosion effect, and I spent 6 days to fix it. So we can say soldier is the buggiest class ever. 6 days later now you're seeing proper market gardener, rocket jump and splash damage. Let's move on next. I must say Pyro was the first most detailed character. At first drawing his eyes was hell for me. Then I drew great eyes and mask for him. After his uniform I also made a happy version of Pyro. It will show up when Pyro starts firing. Pyro. Only has a flamethrower. Has 20 ammo. 
deals less damage, but is able to burn more than a player. And he has high damage to afterburn. First I made a particle effect for flamethrower and I tested it in the game. There was some stupid mistakes and I fixed them. Only this thing left, and I don't think it's a big deal. Except drawing part, I can easily say that pyro was the easiest one to make. Let's move on next one. All your dandies prance in a boat with your heads full of eyeballs. After drawing demo men, I can say that my art skills is in peak. Of course it may not be great for some of you but for me, I think I did great job. I said that pyro was the most detailed one, but demo man must be the one which I've done best. After demo man I drew pipe bombs and his charge in Taj. Charge in Taj may not be same, but I think it's great for now. Demo man. Has grenade launcher and shield. Has 2 ammo. Deals less damage than rockets, but more damage to buildings. Can switch to shield. Can charge or escape. Charging damage depends on how much walking distance left. After some movement codes I added pipes to grenade launcher. At first it shot it so weird. Their physics sucked but I fixed. Then I stole soldiers explosion effect, and I made it bigger, because pipe bombs will have bigger explosion radius. Then I tested demo man with soldier. Then I finally added charging to demo man. I could use shaders, to make demo man red or blue while charging, but learning shader is difficult. And I lastly made a ID generator for each class, in order to make every single player different. Let's move on next. Sandwich and me going to beat your ass. I actually don't have anything to say about Heavy's sprite. All of the classes I drew had an outfit and outfit part was hardest. I expected filling entire sprite with team color, but I realize now most of the classes wear black more than their team color. After drawing black outfit very well then I could draw rest of Heavy. Drawing Heavy's bullets was the best part and I also used them to make Heavy's bullet. And I wanted to add angry heavy eyes for Heavy's shooting animation but this was impossible. Heavy. Just a regular heavy which has minigun with 20 ammo. And no sandwich. Sat. But if the team doesn't have a medic, gets some health every turn. So this is basically sandwich effect. I decided to make a happy face for Heavy's shooting animation. Actually Heavy always smiling while shooting. I don't know why I wanted angry face to heavy. After some movement stuffs I added bullets. Yes I know I made them projectile instead of itskin, but for now I don't want to care about raycasts. Then I added minigun sound and some taunts for heavy. I've seen better sides of beef been run over by a combine. After drawing his outfit. I drew his belt and other stuffs. And I made his arm realistic then his outfit looks more real now. Fortunately engineer has goggles, so I didn't have to draw eyes. Lastly I added, wrench logo to his arm. Engineer. Has only wrench, and he can build sentry and dispenser. Wow, you can hit one time, and deal 15 damage with wrench. If you built sentry, you can hit twice. And if you built dispenser you can hit 3 times, and 1 hit will deal 20 damage. Also dispenser will have bonuses for each class. I started making engineer, by giving him his red. Engineer game day. After making annoying movement stuff I added build UI to engineer. You open build UI by pressing Z, and after choosing what building you want to build you press C, and it gets built. But you can only build one building so, when you try to press Z once again your building gets destroyed. Then I tried to make sentry animation. This was the part I was afraid most to do, but it wasn't that hard. And yes I added bullets as projectiles again. In order to block engineer build buildings everywhere, I added areas not to build. Then I tested sentry and raycast billions times. 
Lastly I added 9 raycasts to dispenser and I tested with entire teeth. And I can say it's still broken. Can you feel the schadenfreude? This time I had to use bigger canvas to draw medic. And like an engineer, medic also has glasses. His glasses doesn't look exact same, but I think this is not that bad. Then I drew medic's uber charge stuff. And added medic's logo. Medic. Has a medigan and uber saw. Just heals players. Needs uber to heal people. Starts to match with 100% uber. Can get uber by killing enemies with uber saw. And Ubersaw has random crits XD. First I made charging animation. Then I made a particle for Uber effect. And I added area collision to heal players. Lastly I added Raycast so Medic will not Uber if there are no players around him. I just bagged the world's fattest man! Sniper. Has a rifle and Jerity. Rifle's damage depends on this walking distance. I made a simple scope for Sniper. And as you can see Sniper can use full of his bar. Because he didn't move. And yes I added a camera inside of Rifle's bullet. Then I tried to animate Jerity animation and made Jarity splash effect. Jarity, bombs away. Head up, head up, bombs away. Jarity. Laughter really is the best medicine. <laughs> I can say drawing spy is hardest experience I had. I thought his jacket is just a normal jacket, but he was right when he said this is a ten thousand dollar jacket. Well, it costed six hours to draw ten thousand dollars. Actually I couldn't like jacket. So I drew three version of the ten thousand dollar jacket. And I chose this. Because this looks better than others. Spy. Has only knife. Can disguise. Can't be invisible, but when he gets damage while disguised, one third of the damage is being sent to the player which spy disguised as. But before making Spy, first. In order to make Spy's disguise stuff I had to set the teams. Teams are actually isn't set. To set the teams, I tried to make a menu. This main menu looks great for now. I also made a options menu, in order to make it look cool. I couldn't find anything to put right side, so I added Putus sound. But I must say these containers made me mad so much. And of course I chose Mercenary Park for main menu theme. Now as you can see you can set count of players, choose a class and you can name your players like in Territory War. But seriously I had to add 18 button signal. Isn't there a easier way to do this? Now I only made our interface. There are still not team, turn and spawn system. I also created them so let me explain how I did. Because I made this way up I don't know about there was better way to do it. Team system. I made 3 arrays for red team. The player count you're seeing here sets the red array size. When you press go but the classes you chose gets added to red array. So we filled red team with random numbers. Spawn system. I made red positions array for the map. It contains spawn points for each player. Red team array gets numbers as players. Before game begins, all arrays work sequentially and spawn the players. Then I tried to redescend the map to test the players better. And best thing I have ever done. A team selector. It's, ready. it's simple, but great. And I did turn system. Then I drew disguise kit. It was easiest sprite to draw, and drawing icons part was good so much. 
Then I added 3 version of every icons to the game. But you can only disguise as which class enemy team has. I wanted spy disguise with a mask instead of entirely changing his body. So I made a simple mask and I just copied faces of the classes. Then I added all mask to spies mode. They will show up when spy tries to disguise. And I also forgot that spy is able to sap the sentries so this is why disguising is not meaningless. And I wanna show you speed of each class. As you can see some of them stopped because they filled their walking distance. But soldier is still able to go further by rocket jumping and their moment can charge either. And last part. I tried to make two fort, but I realized I suck at level design and this is boring. This is why I don't develop this game for one month. But designing 2D2 fort also doesn't sound easy. I also want to say thanks to everyone in our god at subreddit. They answered everything what I wondered.